All right, so uh, we're going to do a quick review of the Timex Expedition Shock. Uh, this watch has been around in one form or another since at least 2016, the best I can tell. It's come with uh, a lot of different band colors and um, slightly different bezels and uh, materials. Uh, this particular one I got off Amazon during Prime Days for 40 bucks, and I just like unique watches and different watches. And this one's a little different; kind of has a widescreen look to it, um, very ruggedized, kind of a G-Shock wannabe. And uh, for that price, I just figured, what the heck, let's uh, go for it. So it's. Uh, it's a pretty pretty large watch with uh, a metal bezel. It's kind of like a stamped metal bezel and a plastic crystal, which I suspect over time that's going to show some scratches and wear. But with a watch like this, that's sort of the appeal. Um, the display is a reverse display as, as opposed to some of the other versions. Some people might think that's hard to read. Um, it's not bad. But it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a decent heavy duty watch the the band is not silicone which is unfortunate because this feels a little plasticky and i'm afraid and after looking on ebay and seeing used ones for sale i'm afraid it's going to eventually crack and finding a replacement band for these is virtually impossible so uh, it does have a chronograph and it's got a timer it's got a hydration alarm to remind you when to drink and not one, not two, but three alarms. And I think it's also got an hourly chime and vibration. And it's worth pointing out this is water resistant to 100 meters. So that's good for, you know, hopping in the pool and shower. It does have the uh, Indiglo backlit display, which is like all the other Timexes. Um, wears pretty good on the wrist it's not it doesn't look obnoxious i mean i'm not a huge guy and this just looks like a beefy heavy duty kind of a durable you know semi-military looking watch um definitely has a unique look to it though you don't see that type of widescreen display um on a lot of watches easy to read in the daylight i mean it's just if you've got bad vision uh this is for you and to glow at night is is great it's super bright no issues there, and uh, you obviously you got the stopwatch feature, the countdown. Um, you know this is not a smartwatch, but it does have enough features that you know this is going to be a nice tool watch if you're looking for something that you're not worried about scratching and banging up. Uh, build quality is typical Timex. It's got you know the buttons feel feel good, good tactile. Um, the band looks good, and you know it's got a nice heft to it. But I do fear that that band is going to be the issue if you're going to have this watch for five or ten years and wear it all the time. I, I just I'm afraid that that plastic is going to get, or whatever that material is, nylon. It's not. It's some. It's something other than silicone. Let's just go with that. But it's a, uh, it's a unique looking watch, and um, probably something I'll throw on once in a while just to change it up. Um, does have enough features to, you know, make it useful as a as a tool watch and. Uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. No need to subscribe. Thumbs up. Nothing. Just uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.